Whether you like it or not, your information has become a product. Yeah, to the tune of about $200 billion. Uh, it's been bought and sold in mass, everything from your shopping habits to your healthcare data. It's up for grabs. And our next guest thinks you should be in control of your data, is going as far as to say it should be a human right. Here to talk uh, to us about this is Richie Etuar Etuaru, rather. He is the uh, founder of Humanity.co, and he joins us now. It's great having you, Richie. Thanks for having me. This is really important stuff, man. I, you know, I, I don't think people realize the scope to which our data is being bought and sold on a day-to-day -day basis. Tell us about how big of an issue this is. Well, I know it's starting to feel like digital slavery, right? Yeah. When most of us started thinking about our data, we started thinking about Facebook data and Google data, yeah. but there's a complete invisible part of the market that we don't think about. Our geolocation data, our healthcare, the energy consumption in our home, your 1-800-flower transactions, your easy pass data. It's all being sold in a $200 billion marketplace. That's the, that's the size of the GDP of Greece. Wow, that's really remarkable. And just recently, I know that there was um, uh, uh, something that went through Congress that got passed that allows ISPs to sell your browsing history, what time you wake up and what you might be surfing on the internet. It really is, kind of seems like it's unescapable. Why should people care about this though? Well, the, the size of the marketplace is growing exponentially. Right? And the use of the data sets, the data sets are getting more and more personal. Right? Well, when we started with our Facebook status, well, yeah, it was personal, but not so much personal yeah. as our healthcare data. Mm -hmm. Healthcare data is $67 billion of that $200 billion market wow. annually. And what we don't know about healthcare data is when you walk into a doctor's office and you sign that form to get treated, the software companies that write the software that the doctors use to collect the notes actually de-identify our data and sell those in a marketplace hundreds of millions of records at a time. And we believe that we're being cut out of the deal and we should at least have the control of how our data is used and if we would so like, share in some of that upside. So you, you would think that that would be against the HIPAA laws, I guess that's not? Well, what's important to understand is that HIPAA was written at a time when there was only 100 websites in the world. That's true. Right? So it couldn't have anticipated the size of this marketplace. More importantly, while HIPAA protects our privacy, it does not protect the abuse of our property. So it's okay if, whether you have your privacy or not. And privacy, it's, privacy itself is changing, right? Yeah. Yeah. But the use of it to create this type of value, we have to get to a construct where we can share in that value and property is a well understood construct where we can share in that value with leases or donation and things of that nature. Absolutely. Absolutely. So let's talk so about let's this talk app that, that you developed, developed really, this really movement, this movement that, you're, that, you're, that, you're, that, you're, that you're working towards, making the 31st right being you being in control of your own data. Yeah, so when you download the app, it's very simple, it's a beautiful UI. What we're doing behind the scenes is we're enabling you to join the movement to claim your data's property. We act as a title company. We give you a title for your data so you could own it as your property, similar to the title that you have for your car or your home. Wow. And then we capture your preferences about how you would like your property to be respected by these organizations that are currently using your data. For example, you may not want to be in the marketplace at all, and that's okay, we capture that. Or you may only want your data to be used for good, potentially to find a cure for a rare disease. Or you may say, given that my data is being used right now, I'm okay giving you the explicit consent to use it so that these companies can kind of operate above board. And in exchange, you pay me a lease cash transaction annually to do that. We capture that, we negotiate on your behalf, and we move that cash back to you. Well, there's just certainly enough money uh, going uh, to and fro that they could probably kick you a few dollars for sure. Uh, we download this app. Where do we get it? You can find the app on the Apple App Store or Google Play by searching for hashtag My31. You join the movement, and what you're doing is you're participating in a world of fair trade data. Have you ever heard of fair trade coffee? Mm -hmm. This is just like that, fair trade data. Richie, this is brilliant. I love it. Thank you so much, buddy. Thanks for having me. All right, if you want to learn more about this My31 app and join the movement, take control of your data, you can download that app via the Google Play or Apple Store. You could also visit hu-manatee.co. Humanity.co is a proud sponsor of The Morning Blend.